Hello and welcome to episode 3 of season 2 of the Water Beavers here in update 5, cycle 3, day 2 in this episode. Last time we started uh, making our way up this hillside here with the intention of eventually constructing something that would allow us to divert bad water away from all of these lemon trees. You can't really see them right now because of the, uh, the lighting, but uh, all of these our lemon trees will be able to harvest some delicious lemons and use it. Well, I don't know if I'd call lemons by themselves delicious, but you know what I'm getting at. Uh, don't don't eat lemons raw, kids. It's, it's not going to end well. But um, I digress. We've, we've got a bunch of different stuff we can do with them and all of our different uh, cooking venues and buildings and all that fun stuff. Uh, so right now we've got mm. IFS here. Yeah, that, me too, bud. Uh, <laughs> constructing these stairs here. And uh, the reason the stairs and the dynamite are right here is because presently we only have access to these stairs. We don't have any science yet. So if we're going to be able to, you know, ascend in any manner that would actually make sense, we're going to have to do a little bit of exploding right here. <laughs> so we have access to uh, actually get upstairs, so to speak. So uh, we'll build these stairs, explode this, and then demolish these stairs, move this back one, and then put a platform and then put another set of stairs. All this just to get up to the top of here uh, so we can go around and uh, do something over here. And the, the kind of hard thing about this is it's very early game and we have very limited uh, things we can do. We can build a levee if we want, but uh, we need to have 20 clay, 30 pine resin, and the... Uh, 45 logs to do that. And also, uh, we can't build it down two blocks. We can only build down one block uh, the way this is currently set up. So if we wanted to do something like that, let me find a good place to actually illustrate this. It would have to be coming in from above, like right here or right here. Can't go down two until we unlock the two high levy, which we can't do because we don't have any science yet. So uh, you can you can very easily see just how quickly this has become a... Uh, a little bit of a challenge for us. But I believe we'll be able to get through it eventually. Uh, no problems. At, at the very least, at the very least, we want to harvest some lemons. So we have some in stock. And see if we can save some of these. Because if we can divert the bad water to at the very least come out this one only, uh, then we will in fact save a lot of these from a certain death. But be able to be able to actually put anything in here without quote-unquote cheating or uh, breaking the rules self-imposed of the game, we're going to have to have these dams here. And right now, uh, I do have something that would probably work right here. But um, yeah, maybe that one would actually be a bit better. But we don't have any metal fasteners, which we have to have to you know actually do any of this. So part of the, part of the stuff we're doing is we're, we're building this primitive ironworks so we can go in and do uh, the fasteners right here. But to make the fasteners, we take a look at our recipes here. Uh, the fasteners have to have scrap metal and coal. Now we have some coal right here, but what we don't have is scrap metal. And what we're going to have to do to get the scrap metal is either build some sort of stairs to get over here. Or since these guys are kind of already in the same general area, figure out a way to get around... All of this, but again, the early game stuff with the water beavers is very, very, very restrictive on how you can do vertical transportation. Short of building a building that they can come out on top of, like uh, what we have here. But we're in the process of making use of this. So that's, that's going to be a whole thing. What we also need to take care of is water supply. We have you know, all our storage pretty much full, but... Uh, as our population continues to grow, we're really, really going to need a lot more water stored up. So we ought to go ahead and just build a couple more of these small tanks and then work toward slowly uh, unlocking everything else. Now, I don't remember looking at these things. Hand of soup. What in the... Oh my god, it's actually a hand. <laughs> Amazing. Absolutely astounding. It's it's literally a hand and <laughs> you put soup in it. I don't know what I expected, 
Well, what, what's that that bit from Arrested Development where uh, <laughs> he opens the fridge and the bag says "Dead Dove, do not eat," and then he and then he opens the bag and he's like, "I don't know what I expected." Okay, and then warm storage. Um. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. What? What is this? That is amazing. <laughs> that's that's so funny. Oh my god, dude. All right. Uh, we got logs coming up here. We got some dynamite gonna come up here as soon as we have the logs taken care of. I guess I could go ahead and uh, connect. Actually, no. I'll leave this one unbuilt because this one's gonna have to get moved back. Uh, but yeah, this is where we are in terms of our whole deal right here. Uh, while it might seem we can get at the metal here, we actually can't because this one is down at the bottom. So if we want to, uh, if we want to actually harvest any of this, we've got to come in from below. We cannot come in from above, uh, which means that we would have to build uh, bridges and then uh, come through all this mess. And it... no, 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 no. We don't. We don't have the ability to really do anything like that yet. So. I think the easiest thing for us to do is going to be to build yet another set of stairs in this general area here. And if I put, um, I'm not really sure. I guess right here would make the most sense because then we can have this one, this one, this one, and this one, and this one, and then eventually that one as well. I think, yeah, that's going to be the best spot to do it. So we'll put in our pathway here. Uh, this ever blossom can get cut down. In fact, pretty much all of the ever blossoms everywhere can get cut down because their only purpose is to uh, just have wood. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. And I should probably unmark all of this as uh, cuttable as well. Yeah, we've got all sorts of all sorts of fun happening here. Gonna want to eventually eventually take a, a little bit more of a uh, hold on. Got to take that away. Eventually get a little more of this stuff figured out. But hey, you know what? Uh, I'm committing to not rush through this one. At least early on. Because, well, we uh, got a lot of stuff that could possibly go wrong. And I do not want to end this series uh, prematurely because of some stupid mistake that I ended up making. So, not going to see too much use of the triple speed. Except probably overnight's still a... Uh, a good way to do that. We also have the problem of farmhouses are not working very efficiently right now because, well, there's only two of them. I don't have enough staff to do anything. And we can't build the, uh, the extensions for the farmhouses until we have science. And uh, we also need some other stuff taken care of from that too. It's just, it's a whole thing. We've got quite a lot of stuff to worry about here. We take a look at our beaver population. We have three incapacitated beavers. Sick and should go rest. Well, mild disease. What mild disease do you have? Stop Stop being mildly diseased. It's rude. Uh, but yeah, we, we can't actually do anything with the mild disease until we have science to unlock the medical beds. As far as I know. And then the clinic, of course, is its own beast. But <laughs> I'm reminded of the beaver washing machine. Absolutely hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. But yeah, uh, that's fine. We have a couple dirty beavers, but they will go ahead and uh, get to cleansing themselves. And we'll go ahead and uh, fast forward through the rest of the night because there's not really that much else we can be doing here, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, now we are waiting for logs. We have 60 logs, now 58. I think they're, uh, they're taking them all these different spots. It says can't get all the required materials for logs, which doesn't make any sense. I don't know where else the logs would go if they can't actually, uh... Huh. Because it says we have... Oh, no. We don't have extra logs. Uh, this is just the picture of the log that says 61 next to it. We don't have enough wood. It's all pine resin. Well, then. Okay, let's take this out of triple speed, at the very least. Yeah, that explains quite a bit. Uh, actually, it's, it really does. I uh, I made some uh, errors in my judgment here. All right, so that's done. That's exciting. Now the dynamite. I don't know. I um, actually don't know if anyone's got the dynamite. 
I guess I could, um, I could take a look and see if we ever get to that point. But I digress. Uh, another thing I wanted to bring up, the uh, developer of the mod left a comment on the last episode saying that the uh, the one and two bridges are actually not locked at the beginning of the game. And they function differently from in vanilla Timberborn. Like you see, the, the model is basically the same. It's a little different, but uh, you don't have to have that lead up with the straight piece of path. You can actually just butt it right up against this. And I think the, uh, the implication of that comment was that I could use that to help me here, but... Um, I still have to go up, so currently I can't really do anything with that until I get over to this side, in which case uh, I can come in and I can maybe, if I can find a spot that isn't overrun by these brambles, I can uh, have this bridge that chasm. But uh, we're not quite there yet. We also have, uh, once we get up here, we could we could very easily do it to cross right here and then get to all these trees, which would be nice. But uh, we're getting there. We're making progress. Stuff takes a little bit of time. Sometimes it takes a lot of bit of time. You just uh, just got to do what you got to do. Although I am getting uh, slightly concerned about the uh, lack of logs we have here. Is that animation overload? There we go. Uh, is lumberjacking currently. But I don't know where all the woods go. It's probably, you know, I've got so much other stuff that's getting built just constantly. Ah, it's the Pit and Ladder Lodge segment. That's where all the logs are going, which, you know, I can't be that upset about because we do need more space for more beavers so we can have more beavers. Yeah, the mushrooms. Mushrooms are waiting. Oh, there's nobody working here. But it's... Oh, no, okay, it's it's going. we got three logs and 20 water are going to give us 40 mushrooms. That's good. We want to keep that going. Uh, Food-wise, I would love to have some additional... Uh, cabbages, but I gotta clear some space. Gotta have a little bit better of a, a time going on over here. Now, this is this is curious. I, I opened up the plant trees and bushes thing, and this is marked as a tree. Now, how is how is that how is that possible? Because that's a that's a cabbage. So I don't I don't know what's up with that. Maybe that's just a weird. I don't know something. We don't have our uh, don't have our explosives yet, really. Now, is that because there's no storage for it and it's just on the ground? That's probably what it is. All right. Um, those go in a mini crappy warehouse. So if I made a little storage for the explosives, I think we might actually be able to get this accomplished here. We're almost, almost done with the logs. Just need two more. And we can have our other um, lodge stuff ready to go. And then hopefully, well, I, I can actually just tell him to do it. I can just prioritize that ever so slightly. Oh, this tree's ready to cut. Nice. Then we'll have log stairs. We'll get this going. Because I really, really would like to be able to save, at the very least, some of these lemon trees. So I don't have to wait to plant them. Because I can't do that without, it's not going to show me, oh yeah, tree nursery. Uh, the tree nursery, uh, for the record, if you go and you look in... Uh, is it basic village structures? No, that's a watertight upgrade. There it is. Tree nursery requires exotic seeds, which, as we learned last time, are locked behind the balloon trading, which is uh, locked behind a blueprint, which is locked behind the, I think, the ENS, if I remember correctly. Um, no, actually, that is, that's from the architecture thing, isn't it? Well, we got, we got a lot of stuff to learn and relearn about this mod. Hey, look, we, um, Primitive Ironworks is up and running. That's exciting. Yeah, that was actually pretty quick. We just need the scrap metal now. So, why don't we, uh, yeah, get that to be a little bit more prioritized. And then we can just uh, bring somebody in and harvest that with the scavenger flag. Very useful. And that will allow us to start making the metal fasteners. So it's a, a third of a unit of coal, or to simplify, three, three units of scrap metal. One unit of coal is going to give you three of the metal fasteners, more or less. And we need to have to build the dam piece that I want to build up here. I think I actually we should just go ahead and check. 
I'm pretty sure this shouldn't let that much through. It will let a little bit through. But if we can eliminate... If we can eliminate the barriers to flow for this right here, then in theory, it shouldn't come out of this side at all. Especially if we have a couple of these. I don't know. I, I can't really... I can't really have it go off the map because that's a little bit too metagamey for my taste. But I think right here, right here would work out just fine. I need 20 metal fasteners and 80 logs. We got some time. We got some time to figure it out. I don't even have this blown up yet. And we don't even have the stairs to these ruins uh, ready to go. So all this stuff is just, you know, stuff that takes time. No other way around it. And I guess I could make a second cooking tent so we could have the braised cabbage and the rice balls occur simultaneously. And the recipe for the cooking tent needs a small clay pot, which I can make here with clay and logs. Yeah, let's do that. And for right now, I'm going to... Oh, okay, they're already not working there. Okay, I don't need, I don't need so many haulers here. I'm going to take both of these down to one. And then that one's already down to zero. Okay. Yep, and we're working here to get, I said, iron ore, I think is what I uh, just doing there. Logs, coal, mountain salt. Yeah, let's, before we get too carried away, let's do, ah, there is a tree there. All right, we can cut that down real quick. We don't need to keep all the pine trees. Yeah, look, look, at, look at the expedience there. That's, that's some good hustle. All right, so we'll put that there. That can be for our iron. Then we can uh, we can have this keep going. So I will take that down to two. This is already down to two. Yeah, the idea being, of course, here that we have uh, another clay pot so we can, you know, make more stuff. We've got our storage for pine resin here, storage for rice here. And I'm going to go ahead just... Oh, that's the wrong one. Nope, that's also the wrong one. Oh, fermentation house, that's a new one. I think we talked about that last time. Uh, rotate this guy. We can also do flippy floppy if we want. Uh, but this can be for the rice balls. Not really that big of a deal. We can also just swap this. In all honesty. Probably should. Because that's going to be closer to the rice balls. That could be for braised cabbage. Yeah, that'll work out pretty well. Do we have the... Uh... Nope, can't get all required materials. Oh, because they haven't built this yet. Because we... <laughs> I put so many construction projects down that it made it a little uh, little bit of a challenge to get stuff to work in here. But now we can actually start doing some scavenging. Got Jada over here going to come up and, uh, well, scavenge. Now let's take a look at all the other stuff we got going on here. Need some more logs so the clay pit can actually be paused. We'll get those two guys back. Ah, yeah, so we have... Um, we got some water problems here. We're consuming quite a bit of water. Hey, Theon. I forgot I had you in the, the, the beard booster list as a name filler. Yeah, we gotta we gotta get more going on with these uh these water pumps. I almost called them the wrong word. Yeah, I think oh, because we, we got we got injured beavers. We've got recipes that are using a lot of water, like this right here uses 20 per and we've got 100 stored if i pause the mushroom grow we'd actually you know have something going here yeah we need more logs need more logs what else can i cut what else can i add? um is this okay that can't even reach over there that's why all right well in the interest of you know actually living to have another episode of this let's let's just go ahead and cut cut all these trees down over here we don't need these pines that badly. Still waiting. Oh, it doesn't say can't find uh, materials anymore. So does that mean they finished the storage? Sure does. And we've got six explosives here. It might have been seven, actually. Well, this guy is. Uh, this guy is going. Uh, who who is this delivering delivering the bomb to us? Megan Dawson. All right. And explode. There we go. Problem solved. 
Now, now the uh, the shenanigans can truly begin. If we demolish both of these, yeah, that's that's what we were gonna do. Demolish both of those. I might have said something different last episode, but at, at this point, no, <laughs> it's 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 gonna be fine. We'll get that going here. And then I've got to come up with the uh, crappy platform, which I guess I could still do while we're waiting for this to get removed, but uh, that that's just the way it's going to go. We, we still have some time. All right, so we've got a little bit of wood. We built this. We are uh, still... Oh, it's actually in the process of making this. Two days, two hours. Yeah, that's a... Uh, a little slow there. I know I know in real life clay pots have to be spun on a wheel and then they have to be fired, glazed, whatever. So uh, that does take actual amount of time. I've done that before. So no no qualms with that. I just I'm so afraid that we're gonna immediately get as soon as we get this next uh, drought warning, it's gonna be a bad tide warning instead, and we're gonna be in for some deep, deep stuff. Well, hopefully not that deep. Because if it's a drought, we've got to build another house or a dam here. If it's a bad tide, I'm not putting anything in here. This is going to get out of here as fast as possible. But all of these crops, every last one, are going to die if we get a bad tide. And we we really need to be prepared. So let's actually let's take this out of uh, out of the slightly faster mode. we got to get a lot of water stored up, and we got to get a lot of food prepared. We have 72 rice balls, which is nice. This is at 37%. Yeah, we're not going to be able to really completely avoid the effects of the bad tides until uh, we can do... I think... the Are the Leos still a thing in this version of the game? I ask people who can't respond while I'm recording this. Fluid... Yep, okay. That has to be researched. In the fluid dump, you say, Oh, that well, it's unlocked. You can build it. No, because you have to build it inside a Lido. Because of course you do. Uh, we do have the small leaky bath. Which, um, in the Irrigation Lodge, I guess that's back in the game. That was not a thing that used to work. Um, but yeah, it it consumes a lot of water, 8.4 per day, but it does irrigate, and it works. It really works as a levee? Oh, because that's the Irrigation Lodge. This one is 12 water per day. We, we can't afford that right now. But uh, in an emergency, we maybe, maybe could. Right now we've got some uh we got some water problems, friends. I know we need to uh make this prepared for the uh inevitability of putting in the water pump upgrade, but guess what? It's not unlocked yet, so it doesn't matter. We're not gonna worry about it. Do we have other places over here we could modify to uh pump more water? I could yeah, actually right here would probably not be a bad spot. Put in a couple more water pumps. These are also houses, don't forget. Uh, that easily, easily can go here. No issues with that whatsoever. And it's about time we start branching out a little bit more into this area anyway. And look, we have, uh, we got scrap metal. Are we making, uh... Ah, uh, we don't have anybody working there because, of course, we don't. Let's, um... Let's see. Nobody's working there. See, we've just been building so much. That's the uh, the problem we're getting to. So this says it can function without workers. All right, James, uh, you're going to go do something else, bud. All right. I don't think I need four builders. I don't need four builders in here. Let's go down to two. I know I'm trying to build these things and I say I don't need builders, but uh, we got to get these other jobs going here. We got we got to get pumping here. We got to build the rest of these things, which actually they already are. So that's looking pretty good. We just we got a lot of stuff to do, man. Uh, we got planks. Um, I probably should have plank storage as well. Uh, but for right now, we're looking okay. The sawdust uh, we can end up burning at some point soon. Uh, Salt-wise, if we're gonna keep making the rice balls, we have to have more mountain salt. I do have enough for a couple more batches. But uh, that's just that's just an issue of not having enough beavers. We got to get more bodies in here, which is what we were. Uh, Attempting to doing attempting to do the whole time. Use the correct form of the verb. Uh, but yeah, we'll put that there. 
And then on top of it, yeah, make sure the stairs go the right direction. Good job. Uh, yeah, I can actually, I can get away with doing this. Just make this the very next thing, and then they can't go get trapped like idiots. But yeah, super stairs. Come up here. And then we got some lemons. We can harvest some lemons and then make our way over here to put in the dam piece. Uh, just uh, also going to have to keep in mind what the flow out of this is going to be when the bad tide is occurring. If the water comes, if bad water comes out of here at all, the, these trees are pretty much dead. If it doesn't, and it all comes out here after we after we take the stairs out, then uh, we're going to be in pretty good shape. We just have to make sure before we take the stairs out that we have uh, a, everything up here done that we want to get done for a while because we're not going to be able to come back. At least not until stuff's figured out. All right, so 17. We'll go ahead and turbo speed through the night here. Yeah, we have, believe it or not, we have a metal fastener. I just need 20 of them to make one of the dams. And if we have a uh, if we have a drought coming up, then we will build an actual actual dam over here. If it's a bad tide, not happening. <laughs> like we cannot uh we cannot afford to do that. But look at us, we got 94%, 95. I'm gonna just go ahead and pause this as soon as it makes the next clay pot. And then uh, there we go. All right, so that's gonna save some of our resources as well with the logs. Take this out of turbo speed. We got some unclean beavers, we got two of them. But we have a shower, they can just come over here and you know do the shower type stuff. Uh, sawdust, we're about to be running out of sawdust. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna switch. I'm going to switch this over to the sawdust recipe so we can keep making planks. And the only difference here is it takes one sawdust and a tenth of a drop of water to make one mushroom. It, it technically is less efficient, but uh, it does get rid of the sawdust without us just hoarding it or burning it for no gain whatsoever. And it's going to be a good option for us to work with at this exact point in time. Plus it frees up some logs which we can use to make more planks. You know, it's just a, a, a continuous, continuous thing. Now we have this, I thought was gonna be the next thing they were gonna build. Oh, no, but that's that's literally, I did this. I did this, because I told them to build this first. So by the time that, that little bit of stairs is done, we'll be able to come back here and finish this. That'll give us some more places for beavers to live. And then we're going to need to get on the uh, the making more food train here. Although we do have over 100 rice balls. is nice to see. Cabbage numbers. Harvesting is still a problem because we don't have enough farmers. That problem is not going to go away until we have a lot more beavers. Got so much more to be doing here. So much more. I would like to be able to get into some of this other stuff. But we're just, we're not quite there yet. The log gnawing station we already have, the primitive paper mill, we have to have the medium cauldron for it, which we do. We have one of those. But I think the medium cauldron also can be used in some of these food buildings. Yeah, oh, but those have to be unlocked. Okay, it's a drought. It's a drought, so we're actually in a... We're actually in an okay spot here. I'm going to go ahead, take this out of turbo mode, and let's evaluate our options, because these are not all... Yeah, if I have, mm, is this gonna work? Is this gonna work like this? I'm pretty sure I can make this happen. If I have 10, I have enough of an overlap. If, like if I did that, I'm reasonably sure that's gonna block out water. But if we go ahead and make this the top priority for construction, we have three days left. Uh, if I can make if I can make another, you know, nine in the next 2.9 days, I think we stand a decent chance. We just have to, you know, actually get, get this stuff going. Shuffling beavers around like it's uh, going out of style. That's pretty much what we've got to do. Make sure we get all our stuff taken care of. We want to make sure the water can come in uh, as it needs to go. Uh, water's also coming in from around this side, too. Let's not forget. It's just the reason I'm focused on this is because uh, I want to not have bad water come through here. I want to be able to control it. Just unfortunately, uh, we don't have floodgates. 
in this mod to my knowledge. Uh, but we do have, oh no, we have a floodgate dam, but it's pretty far up there. It requires a blueprint and uh, all sorts of stuff. So we, we got to think a little bit more, uh, what's, what's the term, ingeniously here? I don't know, but we're, we're going to, we're going to make it happen. We're going to, we're going to make it work here. So how many, okay. They haven't done anything with this yet. Of course. So I've been juggling them so long. I don't really, uh, I don't really know what to be doing here. Now it says they can't make the clay pot. Where did the other clay pot go? Oh, it's right here. So why does this say can't get all the required materials? The clay pot is quite literally right here. Or is that because we don't have... No, we have two, two beavers working construction there. They still haven't built this. Are they... Okay, no, that's that's holler beavers taking care of that. Are they, are they supposed to... Ah, yes. Okay, they built this. Well, this is now no longer a huge priority. We can deprioritize those. What is a huge priority is building these stinking water pumps but not as much of a priority as building the dam. If I can click in the correct spot, there we go. Okay, so two metal fasteners gone in there. We've got uh, one more in here. They, they are making those, so I think we're gonna be okay. We're looking, looking decent here. Don't have any big complaints yet. So I guess what we should probably focus on, aside from that being the very most important thing, it's getting these water pumps built and also having more water storage. We have these three right here. Uh, we probably need to have more storage where these guys actually are. Uh, this tapper's flag probably needs to go. We have yeah, we have 137 of the uh, the pine resin that absolutely can go. I'm gonna put a. Uh... Oh, you know what? No, we have planks that need to be used. Plank tanks store 45. Yeah. All right. I'll bite. I'll take the bait. We'll we'll use our planks to build this plank tank and have it uh hold some water for us. Yeah, because we want to keep these guys going here. We've actually managed to use all the sawdust or at least put it in the mushroom grower, so that's that's fine. We're also, you know, not making the braised cabbage right now because for some reason they can't find the clay pot. Even though it's in the storage, so don't really know what's going on with that one. I guess all we can do now is just kind of, uh, just kind of wait. As I incorrectly click on the location where I can't see it. Okay, good. Six out of ten metal fasteners. We're going to be in great shape for having this in place. That's going to work well. I just hope it actually blocks uh, as much of the water as I think it's going to. That'll be nice. Okay, what other kind of... Uh, kind of uh, stuff can we do here? I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, I'm just I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these pine trees out. Because uh, we want to let these bushes spread until we, you know, can't actually do anything with them. But we want to be able to always have access. Always have access to the berries. That's going to be an easy recipe for disaster if we don't have access easily to food. And now that the um, colony's starting to grow a little bit, I think we might want to... Uh, I want to put in one of these river baths too. We've got some space here that would probably fit reasonably well to just put one of those maybe right about there. Uh, we want the beavers to have easy access, easy access. But the other thing is going to be when we have a, oh man, overnight I can just bump this through here. Uh, when we have the bad tides come in, I don't know how that's going to affect the showers, if it's going to let them shower in the nasty water. But I know for sure we're going to have to stop them from getting down into the river, which is uh, going to cause some interesting problems. We'll just uh, <laughs> we'll just say that. That's, that's going to be, uh, yeah, <laughs> this can be something else. All right, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, let's... Um, Let's actually make this, since I know we have the ability to do so now. Uh, we have the bridges that can go across the river here, and we have planks that we're in the process of, you know, making and using. Let's just do this. We have cabbages we want to get harvested. They can harvest all these things. 
That one is set to harvest only cabbage. That one's set to do rice patty. Uh, let's, for the sake of right now, cabbage harvesting, then I will go ahead and place, I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, the two by can go there and then the one by can go here. I'm not really going to get bent out of shape about it. But once that's in place, friends, we will have a lot easier access directly across here. And then we can get these trees and these farms, I think, think may even be able to, uh, to plant some stuff over here. I'm not entirely sure. We'll see what happens. I'm not entirely well versed on the range of such things, but uh, we also could end up moving the farmhouses to the other side of the river and then have a lot more of this actually usable for uh, good stuff. Oh good, we got the metal fasteners done. I was worried about that quite a bit. There's our iron ore. I love that orange, orange color. I don't think it was orange in the last one. Maybe it was and I just don't remember. But uh, the metal fasteners are going to be nice to have. We can also make crude saw blades and tools. And tools are going to be something that's going to be important for us as we continue building other things here. Uh, the rudimentary sawmill does require power, which uh, crappy water wheels give 15 HP CMS. No matter what I call these units, it's always wrong, so we're just going to not worry about it. Now we have the power wheel that does 5 HP. Yes, I know about the power billboard. No, we will not be using it. Uh, <laughs> the crappy windmills, of course, we've uh, we've learned plenty about that. They have to be researched as well. So, lots to think about in terms of powering things. Uh, we might, might want to get on that soon, but, man... How have we still not done anything with these water pumps? Like, I know we got to get a lot of logs in here, but I really didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal. Let's bring back, uh, first of all, I'm going to pause the primitive ironworks. We got to get these guys building the rest of this uh, primitive dam here. We're going to have a bad time. Want that to get taken care of. Just fine. These trees don't want to dry out too much. Well, I don't want them to dry out. They probably do want to dry out because that's always how this works. But I digress. We've got plenty of other stuff. I, I just cannot believe they can't find the clay pot. Like, what's up with that? What's up with that? We, we got the clay pot. It's right here. It's in the glorious storage. They should know where to go to get it because it gives an aura around the entire thing. That they're like, oh, hey, look, come get this thing. Well, at least we have some water storage. We have 118. So we're not, we're not like in the danger zone. No Kenny Loggins required for this one. Uh, I just, I want I want this to be done. So that's, that's why I got those other beavers working on it. I think we're going to be okay. We got one full day left to do it and half the logs are there. And I know there's going to be a couple more. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're going to be, we're going to be just fine. We'll get through all of this. We'll move on. Our population is slowly climbing. Very slowly. I think for us to fill all of our vacancies, we're actually pretty much dead even, but stuff is paused. If we want everything that... Why do we have so many dirty beavers? Stop being dirty. <laughs> go, go, go take a bath. We can't afford to have dirty beavers here. All right, 35 out of 40. All I need, all I need is five more logs. And I know we have the logs. Go get the logs. Workday is about half done. There we go. All right, friends. Primitive dam is in place. The water level on the back side of the dam is increasing. So I believe that to be working. I think we're in for uh, well, about as good of a time as we can be. So that's good. That's, that's a big load off our chest here. We got uh, this water pump. This still has not been completed, but that's fine because I told them to deprioritize it. And if it's not a bad tide, we don't have to worry about it. So that is going to be a-okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put these in here. Yeah, we just, we got so much other stuff to worry about right now. Gotta be able to get stuff done. Gotta be able to get stuff done. We got three, eight incapacitated beavers. Okay, because four of them are, four of them are dirty, two are injured, and one has mild disease. Eight incapacitated beavers out of 33 beavers. 
Man, times are rough here, huh? We don't have any other way to fix them? I don't think we do, no. Uh, the Tooth Grindstone. I actually don't think we ever rebuilt that. No, 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 it's still here. Okay, we're good. I just, wow, what do I, what do, I do about the injured beavers? I really can't do anything. I guess I could build the library, but that's uh, rather expensive to operate. You have to have the uh, the right kind of fuel for the beavers. You see the very top recipe has that red mushroom. Yeah, that's the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh-uh. <laughs> we don't have those. It seems, it seems like the most uh, reasonable recipe that we've got access to is the... Uh, wait, hold on. What's... Um, Oh, nurse! Oh, this is new. The nursing license used to be locked behind the ENS, so you can actually do that in the library. And then this, let's see, PhDs in robotics. All right, nuclear physics, masters in metallurgy, bachelors in agro agronomy. I, I always want to pronounce it the wrong way. So yeah, the um, brain stimulating mushrooms. Ah. Uh, if we have bad water, I guess we might have to make some of those. See, this is brain-boosting salt. We got these beavers out here. Well, I can't say this out loud or I'll get demonetized. Recreational herbal pursuits in the library. All right. <laughs> that's uh, that's fine. We're, um, <laughs> we're, 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 we're having a good time here. All right, we got water there. I need to put in additional tanks. Now we have these pit tanks as well. Uh, this, I think, would be a great place to put that. Just to fill up a little bit of space that can go underwater, that's fine. So now we're about on our drought here. And what's the next thing they're building? I guess I shouldn't be... Uh... There we go, it's, it's that water pump. Okay, we want that. We want to be able to have a horde of water here. We do have... A little bit of a variety of foods. We have both of our cooking tents up and running right now. Still a lot of dirty beavers. Which is, uh, can't get all the materials and it's logs. Okay, well we actually don't have logs. So that makes sense. Can't get mad at you for that. Uh, oh, there's a couple more trees here we can, uh... I think. Yeah, that's already marked. Huh. Oh, all these dead trees. Yeah, let's um, let's get rid of those immediately. This is still the gatherer flag. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so this entire this entire bit right here, that can go away. And these four aren't in the range. I just want to make sure we're taking advantage of all the resources we have at our disposal. Three dirty beavers. Stop being dirty beavers and go take a shower. We have a shower for that exact purpose. There you go. Good job. Anyway, drought's upon us. Fast forward through the rest of this night here and see how long this is. How many days? Five days. Okay. Now, I really hope this actually works and it's not just, uh, not just lying to me here. I have no reason to believe this won't work. But uh, I'm a little uh, little skeptical. I guess because it's slanted on the sides. I, I know that's probably just the model and the actual thing is going to have the full verticality on all of these six squares it occupies. I guess, probably, maybe. Yeah, here's all that nasty sludge water over here. That's that bad stuff we don't want to mess with. Those do, thankfully, uh, turn off during a drought. But, uh... Oh, it comes out of the underground ruins, does it really? Ah, okay, no, they're here. And then, of course, we have water sources here, there, and everywhere. Oh, man, we got so much going on that we got to keep up with. But at least these lemon trees aren't dead. They've got another 12 or so days. I'm just hoping we can get, uh, get to those to save them before too long. All right, so yeah, we are building this water pump. I, you know what, I'm just, I'm going to make the executive decision to just go ahead and build this river bath immediately. Make that the top priority. Yeah, I think, I think this is actually going to work. I don't know, I don't know why I'm worried about it not working. There's no reason for it not to work. Just the way it goes. 
with the water beavers, you can never be too sure. That's 73%. So this one and actually still be harvested. Uh, I guess they just have other stuff going on that they want to make sure they've got. Uh, the laboratory glassware. Now, is that under science? No. Where is that under? Basic village structures, village jobs. Yeah, the alchemist. That's who uses the laboratory glassware, but it's got to be unlocked in the science. Um, let's see. I mean, if I want to have, if I want to have the clinic, I've got to have the nursing license, which we now know the library can make, which is good. Oh, that make that takes laboratory glassware. Okay, well that makes sense. I just it, the the mild disease bothers me because I don't have a, I don't have any way to deal with it. Can't even build just a basic medical bed, but hey, that's the way things go. Nobody said it would be easy. And if they did, they were lying. All right, so we only have. Well, we are also pumping a whole lot of water out of this. Well, and that's the other inconvenient thing about the water beavers is um, everything's a house. So uh, now, now I have to. Uh, huh. If I don't want all this water to go away, I have to time how I have all this stuff set up and I need to uh, send them to the mines. The beavers yearn for the mines. And we'll fill them with all the pumpers. So the pumps stop, but the people in the uh, the building don't have to move out. So I guess we're, uh, we're going to get a whole lot of coal and we're going to get a whole lot of iron. Uh, you know, actually, I've got 40 coal. We might want to get some uh, mountain salt so we can make more rice balls. We do have 44 of those left, so that's looking okay. I just, I need them to finish this bath so all of our beavers can stop being dirty. Yeah, this, this, this level of water left for four and a half days on a drought is really not inspiring, uh, not inspiring a lot of confidence. Oh, and this shower, it, that's got to go away. That's got to go away because that's using water like a pump style as far as I can tell. Yeah, but we got the river bath ready to go now, so we can uh, just have the uh, dirty beavers come in here and uh, undirty themselves. Look, look at look at them go. Look at them go. Oh, I, they were about to go in the same. No, 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 no. There's they're separate stalls for a reason. You got you got to keep like three feet apart at all times when you're in the showers. Well, let's just move on. <laughs> we don't need to don't need to entertain that any longer. Uh, we've got this platform and the stairs we can work on. But I imagine, I imagine they're going to be wanting to do some other stuff here. Yeah, they want to get this water pump going. I'm just going to preemptively uh, click that down. Now, uh, see, this is using a bunch of water. We don't have any sawdust. We don't have any sawdust because why? We haven't been making planks. But this is done, and that needed planks. Uh, these bridges needed planks. And somehow this one ended up with the planks first. Not really sure I understand what's going on with that, but uh, I can put this path here. This guy's at 82%, so he's got another day before he's going to be ready. I am just concerned about the uh, relative lack of water in here. Because these cabbages will die, I think, inside of three days if they become un watered. I don't think we want to mess with that. Uh, what other what other buildings can I build without too many problems here? Yeah, again, this all has to be researched, I guess. Wait, no, we don't have to. Uh, we don't have to guess. I can just look at the billboard. There we go. All right. So we built the gnawing station. We built the clay pit, built the wood burner. Built the cooking tent, built the primitive mine. We have not yet built the ore smelter. Hmm. We built the fermentation barrel, I think. We built a mushroom grower. We built the new district center. We have not built the sawmill. We did build the primitive ironworks. Uh, we can't make the alchemist until we have... Or can we? No, because I have to unlock it with science. 
Yeah, because that's going to have to be uh, something or other to hear. Primitive paper mill, handicrafter, distillery, library. I guess library is what we're going to have to do next. Now, we don't have enough time this episode to get this built. Uh, but we are going to need to get it going sooner rather than later. And to actually make science, we have to have the uh, special mushrooms. Kimchi looks like sunflower seeds, berries, and water. The nerds demand uh, sustenance, I suppose. Uh, but I don't want that to be right there, so I am going to not do that. But the actual library itself, we're going to have to find a place for. Uh, it does have the main floor entrance on the first floor. Uh, is there going to be anywhere? Okay, I could put it there. So I think we are going to want it to be kind of centrally located. So maybe I might actually, uh, I might actually, uh, change this around. Yeah, if I get rid of this path here, which pretty much is only here to support the gatherer's flag, if we move that, yeah, we get rid of that guy right there, put the library here. It's not a terrible spot for it, but what we do that, uh, they can start putting some of the, uh, I love the incredibly compact library set, it's hilarious, uh, planks and logs and all that stuff in there. I get that built. That'll be good to go. Let's also put the... Oh, that was a gatherer's flag, right? Yeah. That will be okay to go right here for now. So that should probably be the main focus of what we're doing here. But obviously we can only do so much at any given time. Just gotta, gotta feel it out. So through the night we go, building more and more fun stuff. Hopefully not running out of water because I'm going to have to definitely pump this thing dry before the end of the drought or we're going to gonna start having some problems. But thankfully, the beavers can wash themselves now. And all I have to worry about is injury and disease that we could do absolutely nothing to cure. You know, just normal stuff. Normal stuff. Yeah, they got the incredibly compact library set in there. Uh, planks and logs should not be that big of a deal to get done. Uh, do I have enough? Uh, no, I really don't even have enough beavers to operate the stuff we're currently using. So maybe, maybe I want to divert some other guys. I, we're kind of running low on food. Coal. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and have these guys get the salt next time. And they, uh, they go to work next. So I wonder if they're actually working on this thing. I know that still is a... I'm just going to make this the lowest possible priority so we don't have anybody waste their time over there. That's still going. Um, this is full. We're not actually using this, so I guess that's uh, that's our reward for that. Oh, good. I can get this hooked up. Um, let's priority plant cabbage from this one so we can actually, you know, replenish our supply. Uh, because food's not looking great, folks. Not looking great. We have, uh, no rice collected. We've been making our rice balls. It's all in here. Now, we do still have some, but we don't have any in storage here. So we definitely, definitely want to get on that. Definitely want to get on that. Uh, we're out of water. But nobody's thirsty yet, and it's 2.4 days. We take a look at our levels here. Yeah, it's it's pretty low, but I think for the time being, um, I can feel comfortable putting uh, these two back to work. Of course, it's nighttime, so they're not going to. Uh, but we want we want to avoid the beavers becoming dehydrated. Logs are all in place. Now it's just up to the planks. And it takes 10 hours to make one plank, so that's a very inefficient, uh, very inefficient design that we've got going for us here. Let's take this out of turbo speed. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead, uh, take this down to four beavers and four beavers. We can get two of these guys back in uh, the water pumps, start pumping again because it is less than two days. Uh, the crops will not die outside of water for two days, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Hopefully I'm not wrong. 
But uh, suffice to say, 60 planks? It's going to take a long time. Long time to make there. This suspension bridge is done. This one just needs two more planks, and it technically comes first because I placed it first. And I think we're going to let them build it first because it's going to be nice to have access over here. It's going to be a whole lot better than going down and around and up and all that garbage. So that's good. Shouldn't be uh, too upset about that, but... Yeah, the, the planks taking that long is going to make me want to go and do the rudimentary sawmill. Which, uh, you know, we can, but we don't have any power. So that is going to become an issue of uh, where do we put that? And we have to build a crappy water wheel that's only 15 HP. Uh, here is probably actually a decent spot to do this. If I were to just do that, but that also, guess what? It takes planks. So if we did that, then that would be its whole thing. But uh, actually, you know what? No, because we, we, we have to talk about something very important with the Water Beavers, and that is the absolutely punishing placement of um, power shafts in, the, in this mod. Yeah, um, so the entrance to the rudimentary sawmill is on the second floor. Which, no, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. The only place in the entire building that can be attached to power is that little, uh, well, that little gear thing in the bottom left corner. So that means we've really got to be careful how we plan stuff out. You can't get away with, you know, in vanilla or other modded Timberborn where you have pretty much infinite connectivity on any side or top or back or whatever. No, 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 no. You, you have to you got to put in some work to figure out how this how this is going to be set up. So again, this is you, you know probably something that is going to have to get done next episode, but I did want to go ahead and lay the groundwork for it today. And these trees are pretty much ready to get cut almost. So I will mark that as cuttable and I will put our uh, our rudimentary sawmill there, but that also means also means we have to start making the crude saw blades which fortunately we have the materials to do that. And I think we're gonna be okay. So we'll unpause this. Yeah, they'll get that going just fine. Should not be any problem whatsoever. We've got water coming in, 1.7 days left. Uh, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on the height of the water here. Again, it's not gonna be a big issue because we know we're getting the water back soon. I just don't wanna be caught without water in the tanks and without water in the river at the same time. So we can go ahead and uh, go through that. And they're just going to build what they can build. Like, you know, we're going we're gonna to have to keep just making planks the way that we've been making planks. And that's just the way it goes. But uh, it's going to be worth it in the end to put all this work in and actually have functioning things. And I know this is not a beautiful settlement. It's not master planned or whatever. But it works. And that's something we can be happy with. I'm just glad we did not get a bad tide in cycle three, because let me tell you what, <laughs> that that could have been a run ender right there that would not have gone, not have gone swimmingly well. So all we need is this one plank here and we'll have this bridge done. Should I have necessarily built a bridge this early and used this many planks? You know, probably not. But at the same time, this is, this is going to give us more usable land, relatively uh, easily accessible, more trees to cut down, etc. So I think that is a pretty, pretty good trade-off. Yeah, now they have all the planks here. It just has to be put in place. But the other problem we're going to run into is now we're out of food again. And the beavers are going to start to get hungry. So that's part of the reason why I wanted to get the uh, mountain salt going. It just takes two and a half hours to get one. And these guys right here are not... Uh, not exactly uh, quick at making food. Now we have we have 143 cabbages stored up in this cooking tent, and I can only assume. Oh wow, we got a lot of cabbages stored up here. We're just uh, slow at making making stuff. Yeah, that's uh, that's a problem because the mushrooms are waiting on sawdust that we don't have because okay 
Okay, good. This is actually making making mushrooms. I'm going to turn this over to the slow mushroom growth after it burns through all the sawdust. I guess I don't really need to wait necessarily. Yeah, I'm just I'm just going to I'm just going to pop it back over. 3 days to make 40 mushrooms. That's going to that's going to work. Yeah, uh as soon as I, you know, pause this, then I think we'll be able to eat the cabbages, which is uh, kind of kind of an important thing. Okay, that's done. This is done. Uh, the planks obviously are going to go there. Oh, that's not even close enough for me. Well, I, I don't need to. I don't need to kill it quite yet because I know we can't make the thing anyway. Uh, but crude saw blades, we got five of them, so that's going to work out well. Take this out at faster speed. Uh, of course, we have to have planks to build this. You know the whole uh, the whole problem with that. It's always, always something, always something. I'm just, I'm just gonna get rid of that one tree. Now the real question is, oh, okay, so like hardly, hardly anything on the other side of here. We're, we're gonna end up moving these farmhouses for sure. But if we don't have, we don't have enough salt coming in to justify keeping this as a, uh, as a rice ball thing, I might just pause it so they could eat the raw cabbages. Which, by the way, we don't have, we don't have a storage for. Early game water beavers is rough, man. <laughs> There's just so much that can go wrong. But yeah, uh, it was about time for us to have a storage for cabbages anyway. Let's just make that a priority. And I think we'll be in okay shape. Because then all the cabbages can just go there. And then it stops being a problem. So yeah, what, what have we learned today? What have we learned today? We have learned that uh, I still don't know everything there is to know about this mod. But I think we're making good progress. Might not be in the quote unquote correct order to do things, but uh, we needed the library. So that's, it's gonna take a while to build, but uh, if we can actually get the rudimentary sawmill up and running here, then uh, we're gonna be in pretty, uh, pretty okay shape. So yep, that is, that's that. This is the only thing that can connect to this because, well, it's not even gonna generate enough power for it to really even run correctly, honestly. And I can't build scaffoldings that well yet because I don't have the science to unlock them. So we're uh, well and truly at the point where we just kind of have to just keep throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks. Let's also not forget that I'm going to have to build these enormous ugly stairs for quite literally everything until we can research stuff. But um, that's fine. The power shafts, I can't do verticality on the power shafts until I have science. I could build the high power shafts, but those take planks, and we're trying not to use planks. So that's uh, that's the way that goes, friends. But we managed to uh, get through the drought without anything cataclysmically bad happening. Uh, but unfortunately, the river bath is no longer able to function because the water is not deep enough. The good news, though is that the drought's just about over, and we'll get all this stuff uh, refreshed, ready to go. We didn't get at the lemons, but at least we know uh, we're pretty close. We're pretty close. So that is, you know, I think that's going to have to be it for today. Right around the hour mark, I do try to keep these not too terribly long, but hey, if you're watching these videos, then you you know what you know what this is about, <laughs> and that's fine. So we'll go ahead and uh, get through the rest of this, see the water come back in, and then hopefully uh, we'll be in a little bit of a better spot. But I appreciate you being here. And all the uh, support and the comments and everything are really, really helpful. Uh, videos the past couple of weeks on the channel have really not been performing that well, with the exception of these. So I really do appreciate all the support. Beard Boosters as well. And uh, I'm very thankful for those folks that make it possible for me to keep doing this. Even when the, uh, the metrics are down and everything inside of me is screaming, just make more beaver videos, because that's the only thing people want to watch. But no, I, I, I get to have that little support from those guys, and that makes it possible for me to still do other things that are not beavers. So, uh, you know how this works. Look, look at all these cabbages, man. Wow, they are, they're going through those like gangbusters. But uh, I digress. We, <laughs> we, we've got water coming back in. We're thirsty, we're hungry, but we're, we're not in a bad spot. We're playing, playing life close to the edge, I guess you could say. And now, yeah, see, now all this water is going away. But pretty soon, we're going to have the rest of it come back, and that's going to be just fine. So, yep, that's it. 
have a fantastic rest of your day, whatever it is you are doing. Uh, stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you back again on Saturday for this series. Uh, tomorrow, got a new series coming out, uh, a game that you guys have liked as well. So keep your eye out, eyes peeled for that, and then we'll be having more Manor Lords and all sorts of other fun stuff uh, soon as well. Hope to see you there. But regardless, whatever it is you're doing, again, hope you have a fun and a safe time, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.